day after Thanksgiving, out at my trail, the WBNA trail. I actually haven't run outside in, whew, I don't know how long. I've been so locked in on the Zone 2 training, so it's just been swift, swift, swift. Um, I think I was about to say, I don't know why, but I feel inspired. I know why. I bought this damn watch, and I want to play with my new toy, so... Um, I bought my, my Garmin GPS watch, so now I've been dying to run outside again. Um, gonna do a 10K right now. Uh, haven't run outside probably since like May when I hurt my back. And then when I came back in July, I just been swift, swift, swift on the heart rate training. And I'll uh, be curious to see what my time looks like. I'm gonna still keep it. 135 in terms of the heart rates. I'm going to still do a zone 2 run, although it's not as easy as Zwift, which just has this big-ass heads-up display on the screen, and I know what my heart rate is by the second. When I run outside, I'm, I don't have a heads-up display, and got to look at my watch, so I'm sure I'm going to be much less uh, stringent on it, and that's the reason I've been so hell-bent on using Zwift. It's just so convenient with the heart rate training, but I wanted to play with my new toy, and also I've been in all week. Um, I know I'm in all week every week, but I'm usually working, not sitting around. So um, just wanted to get out a little bit. So gonna head out for a 10K. I'll check in along the route. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> Started overheating with this little hoodie on and I still got these damn thermal leggings on. <sighs> Body temperature increases your heart rate. So having to cool off, it's 60 degrees. And I guarantee you, had I come out and it was early May and it was 60 degrees, I would have said, oh, it's nice. I don't need that stuff. But because it's November, I'm putting all these layers on thinking I'm going to be freezing. So had to make a little adjustment, but I'm sure the ladies appreciate seeing the guns. Halfway point, just turned around, barely broke a sweat. Staying in zone two. You can't see that, but take my word for it. Definitely an adjustment from running indoors. I usually run on a completely flat surface, but not too big of a deal. Still about an 11, 12 minute pace. I'll check in later. <sighs> so mission accomplished. Nice and easy pace on this 10K. I don't even, I didn't even look at my numbers yet. I literally just finished. Um, Definitely an adjustment running outdoors. Even really, really small changes in altitude sent my heart rate skyrocketing. Like I was running on some small hills and it's like my heart rate all of a sudden goes from 130 to 155 in like 30 seconds of running up this little ass hill. So definitely going to take some adjustment. Probably won't start running outdoors on a regular basis until like March considering now. The next race I'm targeting is the the um, historic half in May. So I'll probably do eight weeks outdoors from mid mid March to mid May. Probably gonna do two half marathons a week, uh, and I'll also be training for a half Ironman. So uh, it will definitely take some adjustment to running outdoors but it wasn't too bad on flat surfaces I, I was able to keep same thing about an 11 minute pace 11 and a half but yeah even when i hit small little little hills since my heart rate skyrocketing so i knew that would be the case but uh about to take a little gatorade do a little quarter mile cool down walk and head home i will catch y'all later for Reed fitness signing off